My name is Joy and I work at the Georgetown County Library and if you've ever been on our home tour you've probably seen our signs pointing to the homes with bows attached. I'm the resident bow maker and today I'm going to teach you how to tie one just as pretty as this. The best bet is to find some really nice ribbon that is wired and you can find this at your craft stores or um, you know at your big box stores um, every season. So you start with a loop. The secret to making a really pretty fluffy bow is to take the ribbon and twist it over. And then you just keep on doing that. And you can make it any size you want, small or little, depending on the size of the ribbon also. Just keep making your little loops, twisting. And I normally like to make four loops on a side. Like that. And then do a little tail on it. Depending again on whether you're going to tie it to something or want some streamers hanging down, use, this is your tie and you make it long enough that you can attach it to your package or in our case to our signs. For the signs, I use a wire to bring it all together, but if you're doing it for just your packages, pull it together and then you just sort of fluff the bow out. Can adjust the size. See, this one's a little long, so you can find out which way you came. Make it a little shorter. And then there are two ways to finish your streamers. You can just cut it at an angle like that, or you can take it if you want to be fancy, hold it together, and make. A pretty tail. So there you go. You can make it if you want it really big and fancy like these. You can make five loops. Um, you can make a small bow with two loops. The whole secret is twisting and then fluffing everything out. A little um, added bit of information. At the library we use our bows year after year after year as long as they stay presentable. And if you want to do bows for decoration around your house from season to season, you simply take a wadded up piece of paper towel, and I know they're scarce right now, so wait till we don't have a pandemic to start buying paper towels to stuff bows with. But you just stuff them in, just wad them up, stuff them in, and then put them in your box or your tub or wherever you, you put your Christmas and or your seasonal decorations. And at Next year, when you go to pull them back out again, everything will still be fluffy. And then all you have to do is pull the paper out and fluff them back up, and you're done.